Hello YouTube, this is Ruth Baskew with another video. For today's video, I am going to show you a new deck of divination cards that I got. Um, I thought you would be interested in seeing these. I've actually used them and have really been having fun with them. Now they do come in different, the, there's different languages written on these, four different languages written on these cards, and an English and translation as well. And uh, we're going to start with the booklet, because the booklet is only in three different languages, and English, unfortunately, is not one of them. So in order to lay the cards out, you pretty much have to go by the diagrams. So we're going to try to do this, and hopefully it will show up right, and I don't knock my phone over. So um, these are the diagrams that they have for these cards I'm going to show you right here. Um, I haven't done the top one yet, and I haven't done that one, but I did do this one down here at the bottom, and I had fun with that. I also do a, did a three-card spread with past, present, and future, which was totally loads of fun. Um, so now I'm going to show you the cards one by one, and um, try to um, keep the view of the uh, one in English so you uh, so I can tell you what it is. So the first card, they don't come numbered like a normal tarot deck, and they're kind of what you'd call a gypsy fortune tar uh, fortune cards. That's actually what they're called. They're called gypsy fortune cards. This is the case they came in. Right here. So um, they're not like your normal deck of cards. Um, these are not the ones that Buckland did, although when I get the money, I am going to order Raymond Buckland's Gypsy Fortune Tarot deck because his deck is just, the artwork is just absolutely beautiful. I used to have it a long, long time ago, and when my ex-husband and I broke up, he burned all of my occult stuff, my Wiccan book, my Book of Shadows, um, all my tarot decks, and um, just took all my crystals and scattered them all over the place in the backyard. So um, I had to rebuild from that. But anyway, so anyway, here's the first card in the deck. Um, this is the first one. It represents money because it says money on it right there. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus or not for us to see it. But yeah, this is money. Um, this one is theft. That's what the theft card looks like. And there's the different writings in it. It's not going to focus to see those very well, the different languages. But that's theft. Um, false sense. Right here. Death. La Santa Morte. Death. I think that's kind of an interesting... I've never seen death, like, actually ever done like that. It's really, to me, it's really nice. I like it. Um, out of the whole cards, out of them, that one's pretty nice. Officer. Fortune. The goddess Fortune. So that's what she looks like. That's a typical picture of Fortune. She usually has the corner crop here like that, full of all the things of plenty, money, you know, foods, flowers. So that's Fortune. Love, which has got Cupid on it. Merriment for celebration. When I see this one, I, I get the general feel of like this may mean, because it says merriment, so you have a cause to be merry, to party. So to me, it seems like it would um, indicate a possible marriage, two couples coming together, um, a joy, um, a anniversary, a honeymoon. You know, that's what merriment looks to me like when I see it. Then we have journey. So... The chariot always means journeys. That means you are going to be journeying somewhere, moving somewhere, going somewhere. Um, it could indicate move, I think, because that is a journey. When one moves from one place to another, you are pretty much journey, journeying from one place to another. And when you're like moving from one part of the planet to the other part of the planet, that is definitely a journey. Um, unexpected joy. So I find this one to mean that there may be a reason to have some joy in your life, or maybe an unexpected pregnancy, or the announcements of a pregnancy, announcement of an engagement, anything that would be enjoyed and, and happy and celebrated with. Um, sadness. <clears throat> 
So, yeah, sadness could be the loss of someone you love, the loss of a family member, um, the separation of a marriage, um, the loss of money and finances, loss of a home, or loss of a court case, depending on how the cards fall. Fidelity. Loyal like a dog. Sweetheart, this one is sweetheart, and it would represent love, hope. Here is somebody who is having hopes, and with a ship in the background too. As you can see, that this person has a ship in their background. This woman is hoping, for, is looking out to see for hope for someone to return from overseas, or maybe she's hoping to be able to move or go somewhere overseas. But she's hoping for something that has to do with, I feel, either a return of someone or going somewhere. Messenger. This is the messenger. We all know who the Greek messenger is. And there he is in this card right here. The messenger. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. See? So this means you may receive a message through the mail of some sort. Or you may hear from somebody you haven't heard from for a long time. Um... So that's messenger. Desire. So here you have somebody who is looking out and has a desire for something. So they may be, they may be lonely and sad and they're wishing and they're desiring companionship and happiness and want to get out of being sad and lonely all the time. So their desire would be to <coughs> have an end to that. Judge. So this could be somebody who's being judgmental. This could be somebody who is a judge. This can apply to court cases. Um, I see it as a law enforcement and possibly court case when I think of the judge, that sort of do. But it also can mean being judgmental. A letter. So if this shows up with the messenger, it usually means you are going to receive a letter from um, somebody you probably haven't heard from before. Or haven't heard from for a long time um, and it's a pretty card so I'm gonna assume that this would not be a bad letter this would be a letter of happiness and hope but then again that would depend depend on what cards f were falling around for instance if letter showed up and then you had um, sadness next to it and um, that would indicate that you are going to receive a letter with sad news loss well when you gamble you lose and this card is lost so this means you will lose is a loss of finances could be the loss of a home could be the loss of a friendship so this one is loss gift this is gift so this means you are going to receive a gift you have a gift coming or you are going to be giving somebody a gift. Widower. So when you're reading on a mail and the widower shows up, this would indicate the person is a widower. And then whatever cards, cards fell around, this person would indicate where his life is going at this point. So this man has lost his wife, the woman he's been married to for years. And so naturally, if you had the widower fall is the first card and then the card next to it was the sadness and then an um and then loss and then a desire well that would tell you that this person has just lost somebody to death that he really loved and he desires for them to come back but he can't get get him back so yeah widow is pretty simply explained with the cards that fall around it visit this means you would get a visit from somebody who you have not seen in a long time or somebody you have been estranged from. You know, this could be like maybe you have a family member you really care about and you haven't seen them in a while and they're coming to visit. Or a friend you lost contact with a long time ago and they have found you and are finally coming to visit. Or a child you haven't seen in a long time and you're finally going to receive a visit from them. Visit. Marriage. So here you go. If you have happiness and letter, and um, merriment, proposal, marriage. So, yep, that's what that would mean right there to me if I saw those cards all together in a reading. 
The widow. This would be a card for a woman. If she was a widow, a widow, and she lost her husband, the same would apply with like what I said with widower. If those cards fall next to it, so then you would read the cards around this widow to determine where her life is, or what's happening in her life, or what has happened in her life, whether she was a happy woman or not. So that is the widow. Enemy. So if this one shows up, this means that there's somebody in your life who is an enemy to you, who is going to be doing you harm and to watch out for your enemy and i can't get it to really focus but this card is not that bad it's a really nice card it's just really hard to get it to focus so you can actually see the detail on it um jealousy so you know someone is cheating on somebody and they get caught and there's jealousy there or a woman has two suitors and she prefers one over the other one and the other one is jealous this means you have to watch out for jealousy for people around you who are jealous for couple for someone who may be jealous of your relationship you have because they may try to destroy that happiness and that marriage and that that relationship jealousy money this one is money so this means you will receive some money. You may be coming into an inheritance of some money. Maybe your, your new job, you're going to be getting a raise and have more money. So that's what this would be all about money. Huh. Use that one with loss and you're going to lose a lot of money. Lover. So here you go with a love the lover. And if the sweetheart and the lover showed up together, this would mean two people who are drawn to each other or more than likely. And if you throw marriage, they're going to become get married. So yeah, there's the lover. Misfortune. So misfortune means is the same as a loss. So let's say a fire happens and you lose everything you own. Or you're in an accident and you lose everything you own. Or you have somebody foreclose on your property because you haven't been able to pay the bills and you lose everything your own misfortune thought so here's a card that would mean that if the cards in your reading show up and you need to try to figure them out to think about them be thoughtful about what you say and what you do and think about everything that is going on in your life and what the cards are telling you thoughtful baby Somebody's going to have a baby. If this one shows up after the marriage card and happiness, this would mean that there is a baby on the way. This is a religious card um, that represent that would mean of a religious belief, a baptism, a confirmation. Um, so it would mean that somebody in a religious faith is going to probably, for instance, to say this card and then the baby showed up. It's a christening, I would think. You have the baby and you have the religious card together. That to me would indicate a christening or a baptism of a young child. So then we have melon melody or melancholy so somebody who's being melancholy who just is in a melancholy mood and lays around and mourns over the loss of somebody or the breakup of a relationship and just doesn't feel well because of it and this is a card you need to think about when it comes to relationships that are falling apart such as divorce or the widow or the widower you know try not to be too melancholy house this can mean that you're if this shows up with movement journey this means that you will be moving to a new house so that's house anger so this card is what it means you make somebody mad for some reason or you got angry at somebody and you had harsh words and you haven't spoken to them in a long time and then all at once they show up to visit you so if you let's say the person that's coming to visit you you had really bad words with and you had a really bad argument and then this would be the anger card that shows up and then the visitor shows it shows a time to make peace with that argument and put it behind you anger consistency so be consistent in your life i would think was would be would be what consistency means and that's what the consistency card means so that is the new deck that i got and like i said i did a couple of readings on them and was absolutely thrilled with with how the readings turned out 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please um, subscribe, hit link, and share this video. Um, hit the bell, bell when you subscribe so you get notified when I uh, do new videos each week. And this was my video for Tuesday on Divination Tuesday. Let me know what you think about the deck. And if you feel the same about the cards as I did, um, leave comments below, but be nice, please. And um, in the meantime, may the goddess bless you with all of her love and peace be with you all.